Sex, drugs, and racism all laid out in text messages implicating one of the most powerful state lawmakers and his chief of staff. And tonight, a resignation. Good evening, I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Katina Rankin. Just hours ago, Cade Cochran, Cothran rather, Chief of Staff for House Speaker Glenn Cassida issued his resignation. This after being accused of and then actually admitting to calling black people idiots and the N-word, sexually harassing interns, including asking one for sex and nude pictures, and if she was wearing underwear, offering sex to lobbyists, snorting cocaine at his office in the Capitol, and framing a civil rights activist. Cothran denies tampering with evidence which sent the activist to jail, but does admit to doing drugs in office. When it comes to those sexual texts, including those with House Speaker Glenn Cassida that talked about pole dancing and Cothran's sexual encounter with a woman in a restaurant bathroom. He said, because this happened several years ago, I can sincerely say it is hard for me to remember things with absolute clarity. And the racism? He said, I have said and done things in the past that I'm not proud of. However, those who know my heart know that I am nothing even remotely resembling a racist. Well, the House Democrat caucus chair showed some of the text to reporters. I've got three of the text messages right here below. We are talking about shocking, unprecedented, explicit statements using the N-word. This afternoon, Representative G.A. Hardaway of Memphis sent a letter to the TBI on behalf of the Black Caucus. They want the TBI to investigate racist messages and to determine whether Catherine tampered with evidence in an effort to frame a civil rights activist. Well,